As a result of the recent trains, Kampala traders are reporting low sales. Kampala, like the rest of the East African region, has been suffering from severe rain, prompting some traders in various parts of town to close their doors. Engaging with several traders, they attribute the flooding to the faulty drainage system, which KCCA has to improve. They have also promised not to pay KCCA licenses or income tax until their problems are rectified. We lose a lot because when people get to know that it has rained especially within the CBD, they don't come because they know they will find floods and also having fear that their cars will be taken away by the floods. So this is a great fear for them due to the current situation, even with the road network and the poor drainage system. As you can see, the city is empty due to such reasons. When it rains, it costs us much, and during the rainy season, we work in losses because we don't receive any customers. Now some buildings also flood, and traders lose a lot. We are in a very worrying state as traders. That's why we have decided that we are not going to pay KCCA license. If it doesn't work on our issues and also with the government, we shall not pay income tax because we don't see any change. A morning long down power left parts of Mombasa city and the Mombasa port flooded leaving motorists struggling to drive through flooded roads. Based on a press statement released by Kenya Ports Authority, the port of Mombasa experienced collection of water at some sections of the port access roads towards Gate 18. This has worried Ugandan traders about their cargo, and they have asked government and URA to intervene by waiving off taxes because they are working in losses. As the East African region, we are facing a heavy downpour, leaving most parts flooded. And then we look at the Mombasa port where ships land. We saw videos of our containers filled with water, so we are living in great fear. I think they have suffered enough, and we've been crying day and night that we reduce on taxes, and per now, due to heavy rainfall, we are making total losses. So please, URA and Minister of Finance, we kindly beg you, at least to revise on these tax. These taxes are many. To see that uh, the fiscal planning of uh, Kampala uh, should really be given uh, uh, serious you know, kind of effort to see that uh, we really have uh, a harmonious ground that business can really prevail. Other than that, uh, we, are, we are really losing and the government are absolutely is losing because like CBD, if it closes for a day, I think uh, we lose billions and billions of taxes. That's very true. A combination of potholes, heavy rains and floods within the city centre has created a disastrous working environment for the city traders. These have further asked government and URA to intervene as their goods are still stuck at the Mombasa port due to floods. Naomi Mtumba, Smart24TV, Business Today.